The supraspinatus muscle. The supraspinatus muscle lies on the upper third of the posterior surface of the scapula, just above the scapular spine. More so than any other of the rotator cuff muscles, the supraspinatus functions to pull the head of the humerus against the glenoid cavity of the shoulder joint, preventing downward displacement of the shoulder joint when the arm is hanging down at the side. It functions as a team with the deltoid muscle to raise the arm to the side, abduction, and to the front, flexion. Here are the landmarks for the supraspinatus muscle. We have the scapula, the spine of the scapula, the humerus, and the glenohumeral joint. The supraspinatus originates from the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. Contraction of the supraspinatus muscle produces abduction of the humerus at the shoulder. The lateral head of the deltoid assists the supraspinatus in abduction of the humerus, and the latissimus dorsi and pectoralis major oppose the supraspinatus during abduction of the humerus. Associated symptoms for the supraspinatus trigger points are as follows. Clients will complain of deep ache and tenderness in the lateral deltoid region, sometimes extending down the arm and into the lateral epicondyle at the elbow. The pain is felt when they abduct their arm and may also be present at rest. Clients will also describe a snapping or a clicking sound that's present during movement of their shoulder. Activities such as combing their hair, shaving, or brushing their teeth are usually restricted by pain. Activating and perpetuating factors for the supraspinatus trigger points include walking a large dog that pulls on the leash, carrying a heavy briefcase, and any task that requires repetitive or prolonged raising of the arm. Associated trigger points include infraspinatus and other trigger points in the rotator cuff muscle group. Clients with active trigger points in the supraspinatus muscle are often misdiagnosed with cervical arthritis, C6, C7 radiculopathy, rotator cuff lesions, frozen shoulder, and bursitis.